And that hovering of the spirit has a birthing nature. What is it we're to birth? You from the nations, do you, do you feel yourself birthing something within your nation, within your church, within your home, with your children, your grandchildren? There's a stirring up within us. And it's the Holy Spirit calling us to wail. The sound of wailing came from Zion. Here we are. I'll go on and quote Dutch. He said, this is a key time in a glow. Both Dutch and Chuck spoke at our last U.S. conference, and I don't mean to emphasize the U.S., that's not my intention at all, but we all recognize them as international speakers and teachers and writers, so that's why I'm quoting them. In this key time, we need to think differently. Old thinking needs to be cut away from us. It's a transformational time. Dutch said, a glow has always been known for light and fire. I believe a glow is one of the brightest spots of light in any nation. I also believe he wants to increase the fire. Even as we were birthed in the beginning, out of the book of Acts, where it was saying he poured out his spirit on all flesh, on the sons and the daughters. Um, full gospel businessmen had started. And many wives were going with their husbands to full gospel. And there came a point where one of the wives of, uh, her, her name was actually Joyce Dorfline. Fred Dorfline was on the board or something. And she said, I feel there needs to be something like this for women. Not to take away from what was happening with the men, but something for women. And in those early days, the 70s, there was such a sweet move of the spirit. You remember Father Dennis Bennett, who wrote nine o'clock in the morning, an Episcopal priest whose life was transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. And from that point, it began to spread across the world. I used to go to his Friday night meetings because I didn't I knew the Holy Spirit I'd been raised in church but I knew something different was happening and I wanted it I want that for a glow my answer to Glenda was I want God's presence